Hi, my name is Kaylee. Welcome to a 50-ish minute vinyasa practice. When you're ready to begin, you can meet me in a comfortable seat on your mat. We'll get started seated. You can sit cross-legged any way that feels comfortable. Just take a moment to settle into your space, to your body. Bring your hands onto your knees. Let the eyes soften or close. And just take a second here for yourself. It might be the first time in your day that you've paused in any meaningful way. Notice how you're feeling. Notice the physical sensations in your body that you're aware of. You know, also making space for any kind of emotional tone that might be arising for you or might show up throughout your practice. I'm recording this uh, at the end of the year, a time where a lot of us start to think about setting resolutions or intentions for the year ahead. I just want to invite that you set an intention for your practice that has to do with how you want to feel. So instead of focusing on anything that you want to accomplish or anything that you want to do. And you set an intention just for this practice, just as an experiment of how you want to feel. So that might be feeling a little bit more peaceful or present. You might be feeling a little bit more open to joy or pleasure. Might be feeling a little bit more compassion. Take a few moments to center in on something. You bring your awareness to your heart space. You can even bring your hand to your heart. And it's totally fine if an intention doesn't readily arise for you. That's great. That's fine. Let your practice be an opportunity to explore. How do you feel best? How do you feel most aligned and authentic? Go ahead and bring both hands to your heart. Take a big cleansing breath here. As you inhale, feel the lungs fill up, feel the rib cage lift and expand, let the ribs lift up toward the ears even. Pause and hold the breath at the top. And then open your mouth, let it go. You can blink the eyes open or keep them closed, bring your hands to your knees, and then just circle the rib cage over the hips a few times. So it might feel a little weird, it might look a little bit weird, you can keep the eyes closed down if that helps you. But try and mobilize the rib cage over the hips. Get some of the kind of fascia that can get stuck a little bit loosened up. Switch the direction of those rib cage circles. It doesn't have to be real specific or precise movement. Kind of just let it feel good. When you're ready, you can blink the eyes open, bring your right hand down to the side. Sweep the left arm up, stretch open through the left side body, and then just switch. We're just going to move side to side a couple times. Again, the goal here is to just start to bring some gentle movement into your body, maybe build some trust with your body. So one of my favorite things about yoga is that we are doing physical movement, and you will get a workout in and a vinyasa practice for sure. But there's no like abrupt, it's not zero to 60. We're going to warm up all the joints, all the muscles. Let it feel good. So maybe that's your intention to give yourself permission to feel good, even as you're challenging yourself. That could be your intention for a physical practice like this. For me, that's going to be a practice mentally that I'm allowed to feel good even while I'm doing something that otherwise might seem stressful, right? That my life is elevated when I rise to different challenges. The next time you've got your stretch over to one side, doesn't matter which side, hold it there. 
Nod the chin up and down. Not forcing anything, so just mobilizing the neck. And then bring your hands in front of you. Take a little forward fold through the center. You can press the palms away and round your spine, or you might start to walk the arms forward. I know I'm probably, my fingers are probably off of the screen now. That's okay. Breathe into your stretch. And can you feel the breath? Just two more breaths here, stretching open through the back of the ribs. One more big breath here. Start to walk the hands back, bring the hands back behind you for a moment. If you've got your legs crossed, switch the cross of the legs and then take your side bend over to the other side, nodding the chin gently, maybe stay within the frame of the shoulders so we're not trying to create like the biggest range of motion with the neck, just appreciate this movement. And then this time, bring your hands back behind you. Take a little, little baby back bend. You can tend the fingers, cross the chest up, kind of puff the chest up. If it feels great, you can tip the chin up and open through your throat. Nice big breath. And then maybe on your hands and your knees when you're ready. Coming to a tabletop with the shoulder over the wrist and the knees under the hips. Circle your shoulders a couple times over the wrist. So notice how the hands feel. Switch the direction of those shoulder circles. Try and stay long and open through your low back. Come to the center. Let's take cow. Tilt the tailbone toward the ceiling. Let your chest drop toward your thumbs a bit and tip the chin up. Nice long inhale here. Tuck the tailbone as you exhale, finding cat. Draw the navel in toward your belly. And come back to cow, breathe in. Pull the heels of the hands toward the knees. Cow or cat as you breathe out, press the fingertips toward the top of the mat. Two more here. Moving with your breath. Seeing if you can find a little bit more smoothness. And maybe being really non judgmental if you can't, if stuff feels kind of choppy today, that's fine. We're just going to move and breathe and see what happens. Tuck the toes under, take it right into a downward facing dog. You can paddle out your feet in your down dog. In fact, go ahead and do that. Look toward your toes, spread your fingers out nice and wide. And maybe imagine that you're pressing the hands not just down, but forward, like you're trying to rip the mat between your toes and your hands. From downward facing dog, pull forward to a high push up. Right, walk the hands forward a little bit. And then swiftly feel side to side. Keep both hands down. Try and keep your shoulders and your ribs still. So the movement is happening from the waist down. Tick tocking the hips and the heels for four, three, two, one. High push up, breathe in, lower all the way down, bending your elbows straight back. Walk the fingers off of your mat out to your sides, tent the fingers, separate your feet a little wider, and then come up into a wide arm cobra. Squeeze the glutes gently, pause here, hold. Keep the chest lifted, but bring the hands up entirely. And then pulse the arms up and down for five. The warming of the back body. Three, next day is and long. Two, hold at the top, sweep the arms back. Interlace your fingers, keep pressing down into the tops of the feet as you pull your knuckles back. One more chance to open up through the throat. If it feels good, tipping the chin up, find that stretch. And then plant the hands under your shoulders, downward facing dog. Maybe use your knees through that transition. Big, deep inhale. Nice, long exhale. Look forward, lift the heels. Step your feet to the top of the mat, wider than hips distance here. 
Bring your right hand in front of your left foot. Bend your right knee, open the left arm up, find a twist. And bring the left hand in front of the right foot, open the right arm up, bend the left knee. Bring the hands down, roll up to standing, or unroll, I should say, up to standing. Take your time, feet are still split. Reach the arms up over your head, breathe in. Bring your hands to your heart, turn your toes out, knees out, come into Malasana, dropping your hips down. Press the thumbs toward the chest, press the elbows into the knees, opening up to the inner thighs. Take a breath in. Stay here, push the knees into the elbows, see if you can open up to the chest a bit more. One more inhale. Hold forward as you exhale. Feel to the feet a little closer together. Come into your halfway stretch. Breathe in one long line from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Forward fold, catch your calves as you exhale. Tuck the chin toward the chest. And roll to standing, root into the feet as you reach up through the arms on your inhale. And then bring the hands to your heart as you exhale, coming back to that intention. If there's a feeling that you want to nurture or cultivate, or even just make yourself open to, I think a lot of the time, at least in my life, I can block myself from feeling good. I can feel like there's so many reasons that I need to stress instead of relax. And for this year ahead, whether you're an intention and resolution kind of person or not, for the next 12 months, you might think about what you want more of, what you want less of, some more joy, more reading books, more time in nature, more, more real time with friends, maybe less time on a device, less stress. Whatever it is for you, Let's just take one big breath, bringing that into your body, bringing it into your heart on the inhale with that prana. And then open your mouth, offer it up. Blink the eyes open. Send salutation A, reach the arms up on the inhale. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway stretch, breathe in. Plant the hands, step back, high push up to low push up, pause in chaturanga. You can absolutely drop your knees, but feel like you're still pushing the floor away with your hands. Up dog or cobra, press into the tops of the feet, pulling your chest through, and then downward facing dog, roll over the feet, press your uh, thighs, press your chest toward your thighs rather. Take a couple breaths to pedal it out. We're going to pick up the pace pretty quickly here. Give yourself a moment to really settle in, to feel present, to decide that you're going to be deliberate in how you move. Lift the heels and then walk your feet to the top of your mat. Halfway stretch, breathe in. Fold forward and breathe out. Unroll with the inhale. Take it right back down as you exhale. Breath and movement, halfway lift, breathe and plant the hands, step back, high push up to low push up, maybe all the way to the belly. Cobra pose or upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Set your eyes to one spot, take one full inhale, one full exhale. Lift the heels, look forward. With empty lungs, step, walk, or hop your feet to the top. Halfway stretch, breathe in. Fold forward and breathe out. Rise with the inhale, lengthen and lift. Bow right back down, exhale. Halfway stretch, breathe in. Step or hop to low push up. Upward dog, or cobra, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift the heels, gaze forward. 
and then step walk or hop. Last time like that, halfway lift, breathe in. Chest to thighs, breathe out. All the way up, focus on the breath. All the way down. Half lift, breathe in. And then flow through, we'll meet in down dog. You can skip the flow at any point and just step straight into downward facing dog. It's a beautiful and valid way to vinyasa. Take the right leg up when you get into down dog, stretch. You point the right toes and then step the right foot through between the hands, drop the left knee down. Look into a supported crescent lunge here. Bring the left hand down, right hand down. Pick the right arm up, finding a supported twist. Stay there, maybe reach back with the right hand to catch the left foot. You caught the left foot, release it. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot and toe heel the right foot out a little bit to the right. Push into your feet, particularly that front foot. Reach the right arm up, breathe in. Bring the right hand down as you breathe up. Come up into a supported crescent, bending the elbows, pulling the chest through, inhale. Hands to the inside of that front foot, exhale. Right arm up, breathe in. Hands down, breathe out. Inhale, supported crescent, bend the elbows, heart through. Exhale, palms down. One more time, breathe in, right arm. Hand down, breathe out. Inhale, supported crescent. And then find your uh, runner's lunge, your half split here, crossing back through your right hip. Maybe you turn the right toes upward. Maybe you hug the rib cage toward your right thigh or tick-tock the right foot side to side. Don't be afraid to make your practice your own to kind of explore and experiment as long as you're moving mindfully and you're coming from a space of respect for your body, not forcing anything. There's really not a wrong or a right way to do this, right? It's your time, your workout, your practice. Rebend the right knee, plant the right foot, tuck the back toes under, lift your back knee, and then rock forward and backward a few times here. Try not to bounce, but get a good stretch in that back leg. All right. Shift forward, push into your front foot and then airplane your arms here. And stay long in the low back, squeeze the inner thighs toward each other. Come all the way up to crescent lunge. Inhale, maybe you take your eyes up to challenge your balance. Plant the hands, step back and flow through your vinyasa. You can mix it up and take cobra if you've been taking up dog or vice versa. Left toes lift, take a big breath as you stretch and you point the toes. And then step the left foot through, drop the right knee down, supported crescent on this side. So we've got a little flow here, big breath. Bring the hands down as you empty, lift the left arm, maybe bend the right knee, catch the foot. I almost said left knee. And I keep telling myself I'm going to try and just say front and back instead of right and left. See if that minimizes my um, kind of confused cues sometimes. If you caught the back foot, release it. Let me go back foot. Reach the arms up. Inhale, bend the elbows. Bring both hands to the inside of your left foot. Maybe you walk the left foot a bit to the left. Inhale, the left arm lifts, find your twist. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, come up with bent elbows, pull the chest through, shoulders hug the spine. Exhale, hands come down. Left arm, inhale. Hand down, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, drop the hands. One more, left arm, breathe in. Hand down, breathe out, lift the chest. Inhale, big. And then frame out the front foot. Find your half split on this side. And notice if there's a different amount of sensation in this, in this leg than the other. 
And feel free to explore the same movement patterns or stillness that you tried on on the other side or to do something different. And maybe you close your eyes for your last cycle of breath here. See so if you can let go of some tension in the jaw. And then rebend the left knee, tap the right toes, lift the back knee up, move the hands if you need to so that you can rock forward and backward. Get into that right half and that front of the right ankle. Got a little crackle there in my body. All right, shoulders or knee over the front ankle, engage your core and then float the arms into your airplane. Really like a lightning. Uh, crescent lunge here. Keep pressing through the balls of your feet, full crescent lunge, come all the way on up, a little wobbly. Engage your right glutes, plant the hands, step the foot back and flow through your vinyasa. From downward facing dog, pedal it out. We're going to change up our flow a little bit. Right leg goes up on the in breath. Step it through as you exhale. Keep the back knee lifted. Crescent lunge. Breathe in. Warrior two as you breathe out. Right heel bisects the arch of your back foot here. From warrior two, reverse warrior. Flip your right palm up. Take a breath in as you open through side body. Very little weight in the left hand. And then cartwheel your hands around your front foot. Spin your left heel up. We've got eight knee drivers with that left knee. Pull it in and out. Six, five, doesn't matter if you do exactly eight. It's moving here. Two, and one back to crescent lunge. and breathe in. Step the left foot to the top, feet about hip distance, little chair pulses, hands to your heart. Push down through all four corners of your feet. Keep the knees in line with the toes. So knees aren't caving in. You can take a peek down, make sure that the knees are staying in line with the toes and that your thighs are making an 11. Hold at the bottom here, hold at the bottom. Bring your arms into the lightning, arms. Five, four, three, Two, take it all the way up, big breath in, walk the feet out, heels in, and then goddess at the top, malasana. Take a breath or two here. So I'm gonna offer crow pose. I'm probably only gonna take it once and see how it feels on my wrists. So if you've got shoulder stuff or wrist stuff, it is not at all necessary. You can stay in Malasana. You can take a forward fold as an option. You can come into a high plank or down dog. Remember, it's your practice. You can even come back into chair if you want. Take a breath in. Fold forward as you exhale. If you want to try crow with me, plant the hands, shoulder distance apart. Bend the knees and then drop the knees right underneath the armpits. So just shift the weight into the fingertips and the heels of your hands. Maybe you lift one set of toes and then drop that set of toes, switch and try the other set of toes. Maybe you lift both of your feet up. If crow is something that's working out in your body and you wanna try our fancy transition here, you take a breath in to prepare and then jump to chaturanga. Only time I'm doing that today, breathe into up dog. Press back to down dog. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Left leg lifts on the in breath. Step it forward as you exhale, crescent lunge. Come on up and breathe in. Warrior two as you breathe out. Reverse warrior, open through the side body. And then cartwheel the hands down, keep the fingers tented under the shoulders, right heel lifts, knee drivers on this side. So the key here is to keep this left knee bent and keep that left hip hinged. Four, three, crescent lunge and two and one, foot down, arms up on the inhale. Ooh. And then we're gonna step the uh, right foot to the top, hands to your heart, little pulses back into your chair. 
However you feel most comfortable in your spine is perfect. So that might be leaning forward a bunch. That might be kind of keeping the shoulders up more in line with the hips. Hold it at the bottom, arms to your side, lightning chair. Take a big breath in. Maybe you sit a little bit lower as you exhale. Stand all the way up on the in-breath. Walk the feet wide, heels in. Malasana at the top of your mat. Shift it side to side. Option to add a stretch, bringing the left hand down. Add a twist, reaching the right arm up. And stay here or option to bind around that left leg bringing that right arm down and the left arm outside of your left shin. Come back to Malasana, hands to your heart. And then option to switch, take that twist on the other side. The shoulders are really bugging you. You can absolutely play around with bending the elbows. I want you to feel free to explore whatever range of motion, whatever path of movement. Maybe you add a bind here feels best in your body. Come back to the last and bring your hands to your heart. Rest the knees wide, breathe in. Fold forward as you breathe out. Option to come into crow or you take a halfway lift, breathe in. And then vinyasa, right on through. So not a long hold. If you wanna play with crow longer, feel free. From down dog, right leg up, breathe in. Step the right foot forward, breathe out. Crescent lunge on the inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, breathe in. Cartwheel the hands around the front foot. Spin that back heel up, knee drivers for approximately eight. Take it at your own pace. Four, three, crescent lunge in two and one. Back to crescent lunge, inhale. This time, lightning crescent, sweep the arms to your side. Keep your torso and your legs, so your base is the same, but you're gonna take a power lunge, reaching the arms forward. Biceps are tracking the ears here. And then without momentum, we're gonna take it into airplane. Shift the weight to that front foot, sweep the arms toward the sides of your body. So you're in an airplane. Micro bend that right knee, turn the left toes down. So you're playing around leveling off the hips. From airplane, as deliberate as you can, reverse warrior. Big step with your left foot to the back. Reach up and open through the top arm. And then cartwheel your left hand down. We're gonna find side plank, bringing that right leg back behind you, lifting the right arm up. Press the floor away with your left hand. I'm feeling wobbly today. Maybe the right arm comes forward, breathing in. And then vinyasa, we'll meet up and downward facing dog. Remember you can skip the vinyasa and go straight into down dog. From there, left leg up on the in-breath. Step it forward. Crescent lunge, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse open on the inhale. Cartwheel the hands, eight knee drivers on this side. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Crescent lunge, take a breath in. Lightning crescent, tilt the chest forward like you're trying to lean over a cliff. Core is active and the muscles of your entire trunk are active. So think about the sides of your waist and your back. Keep that full lower body and trunk strong and stable. Reach the arms forward for your power lunge. One long line of energy from your back heel all the way up to the wrist. From here, we've got airplane. Sweep the arms back, lift the right leg up. Keep a little bend in your left knee. So you're not locking the leg out. And by keeping that little bend in the knee, we're actually gonna get more muscle activation. 
pull the shoulders away from the ears and toward the spine. And then slow motion, reverse your warrior, big step with the right foot to the back with the left arm up, cartwheel the right hand down, side plank, spinning open to the left side of your mat. Reach the top arm forward as you breathe in, and then vinyasa, knee and downward facing dog, we're going to add on a little bit. Rem down dog, right leg up on the in breath. Step it forward as you empty. Crescent lunge, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse warrior on the inhale. Cartwheel the hands, knee drivers here for eight. Ish, four, three, two, one. Crescent lunge, take a breath in. This time go straight into airplane. So pop that back foot up, reach the arms down by your side. You're going to bring the left knee up, standing tall at the top of the mat. So you're in a one-legged mountain here. Option to do a little bit of plyometrics. You absolutely do not have to hop, though. You're going to step the left foot down underneath the left hip for a lightning chair. And then we're going to come back up. Either just lift the arms and the left knee. Whew, back to lightning chair. Or you can take a little hop. We're just moving between those two. For 10, meet in lightning chair. Whew. Eight. Why did I say 10? Six. Four. Three. Two. Lightning chair. Pulse it out for 10. Nine. Eight. Deep relaxed breaths. Remember that intention that you are allowed to feel good even while you are meeting a challenge. Hold at the bottom. Breathe in. Breathe out, stand all the way up on the in breath. And then bring your hands to your heart, heels wide, toes out, back into Malasana. In Malasana, interlace your fingers except for your index and your thumb. It's called Kali Mudra. Kali is known as the goddess who is the remover of obstacles. A really good one when we're thinking about change or intention. Reach the arms forward and keep the knees wide. I'm gonna take breath of fire here for 20. So pulse the core in. Three, two, one, hold forward. Halfway stretch or crow, breathe in. Chaturanga, or however you want to get to down dog. From down dog, left leg up on the in breath. Step it through back to our flow. Cross hand lunge, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse warrior, inhale. Cartwheel the hands, knee drivers here for eight. Push the front foot down, crescent lunge, take it back, big breath. Fly forward to airplane. The right knee comes up, arms come up, standing tall and strong at the top of the mat. Take it into your lightning chair. Right knee and arms, maybe you hop. I'm gonna skip the hop on this side. Try and find that challenge point that feels difficult, but that you feel like you can, you can stay competent, you can, you know, switch yourself through it, cheer yourself through it, be on your own team. Last one, hold your lightning chair, pulse it out. Three, two, hold at the bottom on one, breathe in. Stay as you breathe out. Stand on the inhale. Hands to heart center. Feel to the feet a little wider. Back into Malasana. Back into Kali Mudra. Reach the arms out. Set the eyes upward toward your wrists or past the fingers. And then this time, 30. Pulse the core in. So breath of fire. That forced, loud exhale. Snapping the navel toward the spine. 20.
Three, two, one. Fold forward. Half lift or crow pose. Breathe in. Low push up as you breathe out or however you want to get to down dog. Stay connected to your breath. Last time through, right leg up on the inhale. Step it forward. Crescent lunge, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse warrior on the in breath. Cartwheel your hands for your knee drivers, pulling that back knee in and out. For six, five, four, three, two, crescent lunge on one, breathe in. Airplane, breathe out. Hold your airplane, one full cycle of breath. Stay for the exhale, reverse your warrior. Come back to reverse warrior, breathe in. Cartwheel the hands. This time we're gonna find, uh, what is it called? We are gonna find wild thing, there we go. Push into the left hand, lift the right leg, lift the right arm, and then drop the right toes back behind you. Finding your wild thing. Feeling open through the front of the hips, through the front of the ribs. Bring that right hand down, side plank, spin the heels to the left, lift, or to the right, rather, lift the left arm up. Bring that left hand down, keep both hands down, swivel the heels side to side, trying to keep the ribs and the shoulders still. Five, four, high push up in three, two, one, high plank, breathe in. Vinyasa, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Left side to go. Big breaths through the side. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, step. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands down, knee drivers, pulling your back knee in and out, keeping the front knee bent, pushing into the left foot, like you're trying to make a footprint in your mat. Drop the back toes to the back, reach up, crescent lunge, Woo, fly it forward into airplane, little wobbly, it's okay, you don't have to be perfect, here. breathe in. Breathe out, back to reverse warrior, inhale. Cartwheel the right hand down, Left leg, left arm lift as you take it to a wild thing, bringing the left toes back behind you. Push the floor away as you lift up through your top arm. Nice long inhale. Left hand down, heels go left, right arm lifts up, side plank. Bring the right hand down, square the chest, keep the chest still. Tick tock the heels this time, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High push up. Option to drop the knees. Take a halfway push up. Elbows go straight back and then straighten the arms. Four more. Bend the elbows, straighten the elbows for three. Set the gaze forward. Couple feet in front of your mat. Last one. Hold your low push up. And then drop the knees to the mat if they're not. Press it back to child's pose. You can separate the knees a little wider if you like. Or you can get them close together. And pull forward to your hands and your knees. Tuck the toes under so it was just a little, little tiny break. Last bit of work here. Cover the knees up off the mat, and then tap the knees down, lift the knees just like a credit card's width. So lift and lower, lift and lower. Push through the balls of the feet. All right, we're gonna drop the feet, keep the knees bent, walk the hands to the back, come into a chair pose, reach the arms up. Take the hips down an inch. Lift the hips up an inch, down an inch, and up an inch. So real controlled movement here. Hold at the bottom, hold at the bottom. You're gonna stand all the way up, arms to your side, big breath in. Back into that chair, exhale. Stand up, arms to side. 
Take it back to the chair. Pump the breath. Inhale. Hold it in chair. Bring your chest to your thighs. Plant the hands. Walk it back out into that knee hover. So you're in a little bear pose. Drop and lift the knees. 10, 9, whew, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Hover in 2, 1. Hover the knees, hover, hover as slowly as you can. Lower the knees. Bring the hips to the heels. Come into a little toes pose here. So you're still on the balls of the feet. See the eyes close down just to give the nervous system the message that it's okay to relax a little bit into this intensity. If this is way too much on the feet, you can bring your fingers down. Maybe a little wrist release, actually, whether the toes feel good or not. Go to the backs of the hands. So the palms are face up with the fingers pointing toward the knees. And that got my heart rate going. Every day is a little bit different. So depending on what you needed, that may have been maybe more <laughs> than you needed or less than you needed. And just acknowledge yourself for whatever you did. Trusting that if it wasn't quite the Goldilocks amount for you, you're learning. You're in that experimenting process. Getting data about how to take care of yourself in a way that feels aligned and effective. All right, walking back to that toe stand. Just a couple more breaths here. Close the eyes, three big breaths. Take those open mouth exhales. Big inhale through the nose. Kind of exaggerated exhale. Let it go. One more. You're ready. You can clasp your ankles. And then stretch your legs out in front of you. And shake out the knees a little bit. Let's set up um, for a half. Butterfly, bring the sole of the right foot to the inside of the left leg. Before you fold forward, rotate toward your right knee. So I'll turn a little bit so that you can see the knee there. Rotate toward that right knee, reach the left arm up, and then bring your left hand to the right knee or to the right thigh. Tent the right fingers, flex the left foot, probably off of the screen there, but flex the left foot so the left knee and toes are pointing upward. And then Excuse me, look from shoulder to shoulder. Nice and easy movement to the neck. Maybe you close the eyes down here. Notice the sensations in your body. Notice the places where there's some effort happening. Notice if you can relax into that effort, right? So that you can find that balance, find that experience of effort and ease of being productive and purposeful and effective without straining or stressing or forcing. All right, keep the left hand where it is. Right arm comes up, lengthen through the right side body, and then tilt the torso toward the left foot, reaching the right hand toward the left foot, but keep the chest open so you're not collapsing into a forward fold just yet. Nice long inhale. Lift up a bit, frame out your left leg, walk the hands forward. So now you're finding that half butterfly. So you can let the shoulders melt away from the spine here, not resisting any of your body's natural ability to relax. Maybe you relax the left foot if that feels good. Maybe you bend the left knee a bit. Let go of any tension in the forehead or the brow, the temples. And start to walk the hands back inward. Bring the hands back behind you. Stretch the right leg out. You can kind of flipper the feet out or paddle out the calves and the knees. And then we're just going to do that little sequence on the other side, bringing the left foot to the inside of the right leg. 
starting by finding some length in the spine, maybe even reach the arms up, rotate toward the bent knee, bring your right hand outside of the left knee, left fingers step back behind you, find some length in the spine and twist. Maybe you flex the right foot, just to make sure that that knee is pointing up and that extended leg is active, rooting down through your right sit bone, that extended leg sit bone. And keep your twist, but reach your back arm up. Left arm comes up, lengthen through the left side body. And then maybe you take a side bend, reaching the left hand for the right toes. Stay here. Imagine that you can breathe into your left lung. Inhale and expand the left ribs gently. And then exhale, lift it up, frame out your right leg, walk the hands forward. All right, walk the hands back, stretch the legs long, bring the knees into your, stretch the legs long and bring the knees into your chest, bring the knees into your chest, roll it down nice and slowly, catch the big toes of your peace fingers for happy baby. If catching the big toes doesn't work out well for your arms, you catch the outsides of your feet or the backsides of your knees. You might feel good to experiment a little bit here with Rocking side to side or extending one leg at a time. I'm going to finish up with three more back bends. Everything is optional. If you're choosing to join me in bridge, bring the knees together, bring the feet down, feet and knees about hips distance, bring your arms down by the sides of your body. Roll the shoulders down underneath you and then push into your feet to lift the hips. Press down through the feet. Move your chin away from your chest, but see if you can kind of chase the, the chin with the breastbone, lengthening the back of the neck. And then we're going to roll it down really, really slowly. As soon as one of your back bones touches, imagine the space between that bone and the next bone expanding, massaging the spine down like a wave, letting the pelvis drop last, releasing any gripping in the glutes, windshield wiper the knees side to side, take a breath. And then back up into bridge when you're ready. This time, bring the elbows in toward the sides of the body, push down into the upper arms. So the forearms are perpendicular to the floor here, pressing the elbows down and energetically outward. So imagine that the elbows are moving toward the edges of your mat. Roll it down nice and slowly. And chill away for the knees, big breath. And then last back bend, coming back into your bridge pose. Option, if wheel is something that you're working on, to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders, elbows point up, fingers point toward the heels. And then maybe you just lift up onto the crown of the head. Check in with your body there. Make sure that the shoulders and the elbows and the wrists feel good. Maybe play around with lifting the head. Maybe straighten the arms out. If you pick up tension in the jaw, that's a good indication, or if you're like gasping for breath and grunting, good indication that maybe you're moving your body past a range of motion that it feels good about growing into. So we wanna honor those sensations, honor the signals and the wisdom of your body. You're in wheel, gently drop the head down first. And then everyone lower everything down to the mat. 
and the knees to toggle side to side. Arms can come out to a T or a cactus. It might feel good to walk the feet together, to bring the knees together. And then just, would it feel good to slow the movement down or to even take a smaller range of motion? Especially if you've got any low back pain, maybe a smaller, slower range of motion feels better. And then let's butterfly the knees open soles of the feet toward each other and then bring the knees back together soles of the feet down do that a couple of times just a little butterfly wing flap here when you are ready either taking your final resting shape with the knees bent pointing straight up or out to the side or extending your legs away from your lower back bringing your arms down toward your side Home in on your breath. Go with any control of the breath and just be in that place of observing. And whatever you did in your practice today, trust that it was enough, that it was part of your process, right? That all of the goals and intentions and resolutions that we set, everything that we want more or less of, that we're navigating deliberately in life, that change doesn't happen overnight, that it's really not so much a destination as a direction. Every action that you take that's aligned with the changes that you're seeking is part of that process, it's part of that path, including this practice today. To give yourself permission to take just about 30 more seconds for yourself in stillness, soaking in your effort, letting go of any gripping in the muscles. Here, one more moment. Bring your awareness into the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands. See if you feel any sensation there, maybe a tingling or buzz or a vibration. Then start to bring some gentle movement into the hands and the feet. And then add a stretch or a nod to your head. Reawakening the body with a couple breaths as you transition from your back gradually to a seat, maybe rolling through the fetal position for a moment. And when you land in an upright seated position, bring your hands back to your heart, either in Anjali Mudra with the thumbs up against the breastbone or bringing the hands, palms open wide around the heart space. So we'll take one more big cleansing breath, pull your intention back to your mind. Breathe it into your body. Let yourself feel the energy of that. Feel the energy of peace or goodness or joy. Sip in a little bit more of that energy. And then open your mouth, offer it up. And blink your eyes open when you're ready. Thank you for sharing some time with me. Um, happy New Year or happy whatever point in the year it is that you're watching this. I'm wishing you um, the most beautiful next 12 months full of growth and progress. And yeah, that's it. Take care, reach out if there's anything that I can support you in. And I hope to see you soon.